Hey guys, welcome back. Chuck here with American Travel and Entertainment. Today we're checking out the Ulysses S. Grant National Historic Site Tour. This is the home of our 18th President of the United States and the general who led the Union Army to victory in the Civil War. He also owned several slaves here, which is kind of ironic when you consider his role in ending slavery. The historic White Haven estate is more than 200 years old and is the home of where Ulysses and Julia Grant lived. Tours are free and offered on a daily basis and at the top of each hour between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Tours are the only way to see the inside of this piece of history, and I got the last tour of the day, so let's check it out. Now, let the American adventure begin. What you're about to see is White Haven. White Haven was built in 1816 when Missouri was still a territory, and it was the childhood home of Julia Dent, who would go on to be the first lady of the United States and the wife of the U.S. Grant. Her and Grant met here, they courted here, and they got engaged here, and they moved into the property full time uh, in 1854 after Grant resigned from the military and they lived uh, in St. Louis for five years. Originally, this was an 850 acre plantation home to the Dent family and the 30 people that they enslaved. Um, Grant and Julia moved out here um, to farm. When they were married, they were gifted about 80 acres of land and they decided to farm that land. They grew just about anything that'll grow in the Midwest. Um, they definitely weren't the best farmers. Uh, Grant did not make a lot of money in the farming business. Um, he grew different fruits, vegetables, grains, and then he would also um, chop up firewood or chop up trees, sell them as firewood, um, and that's how he made his money. Um, while he was out here, he did double the amount of kids that he had when he moved on to the White Haven property. He had two. When he left, he had four. Um, so and while his mother passed away, she convinced Grant to move back into the White Haven home. Um, but we're going to go up there, and we're going to talk a little bit more, and then you guys will get to go to the house. So without further ado, we'll start heading out. I'd like to point out this photo right here in the black frame at the beginning of every tour. That is the oldest photo that we have of White Haven. So that photo was taken in 1860, just a year before the Civil War started. itself is original so if you haven't checked that out I would definitely recommend doing it after the tour I mean it also has the best AC on campus so it's a good place <laughs> to cool down after all this heat um, so that is why we have that stable right there and Grant also had the house painted green so Julia and him wanted it painted so they chose this color Paris green Paris green was a very popular color at the time not so much today um, but if you are looking for some remodeling ideas for your home maybe this will be some inspiration for you uh, but the original Paris green paint got its aggressive green color um, from being dyed with arsenic. So what you see on the outside of the house is not original green paint. Um, it is much safer, but we do have some of the original Paris green paint on the display in the home. So you will be able to see that, compare and contrast that modern color versus that older color. Um, just don't touch it. Uh, most of it's high up anyway, um, but adults, you know, grown, you know, a little taller. I don't know if I could touch it, I've never tried, but um, you know, pe taller people could definitely touch it, so don't, but um, you'll be able to look at it, compare and contrast it. But that is why the house is green, and Grant actually owns this property for almost two decades. Um, towards the end of his life, he gets involved in a really bad business deal with this guy named Ferdinand Ward. Uh, Ferdinand basically scams Grant out of all of his life savings, takes all of his money, and flees the country. And so Grant actually ends up losing the property because of that um, business deal gone bad. Um, Grant was in debt to the Vanderbilts at the time, and so he had to turn this property over to them to pay off his debts, and that's when he loses the property. After Grant loses the property, it goes to the hands of six private owners before it gets to the National Park Service. So up until the 1980s, this was actually a private residence. Um, the last family who owned it, they actually owned it for three generations, and the last generation uh, who owned it decided they were going to go on ahead and sell it to a real estate developer who wanted to tear the house down. Um, but luckily there was a group here in St. Louis called Save Grants White Haven and they advocated a ton um, and they raised a whole bunch of money and convinced the county to buy the house and then the county donated it to the park service and we were established in 1989. So we're still a relatively new park. Um, but despite having those six private owners, we've been able to keep over 60% of the structure of the home original. So none of the furniture inside is original, but a lot of the structure is. Um, but before we go inside, I am going to tell you all about the outbuildings that we have outside. Um, 
give you some safety precautions and tell you what I'll be doing during the tour. So, we'll start with the outbuildings. You can't see them right now, but uh, there's two red buildings back there. One is a chicken coop, pretty self-explanatory what that was used for. That is where the chickens live. And the other one is an ice house. The ice house is split into two levels. The bottom is made out of stone and they would get ice from the local creeks that would freeze over in the winter. They'd pack it in the bottom. They'd put their food in the top and it would act like a refrigerator for them. There's a stone building back there. That stone building is one of the buildings that the people who were enslaved here on the property would work in. So that is going to be the laundry room and the summer kitchen. And the summer kitchen is where the people who were enslaved would cook during the summer to keep the heat away from the house. Um, and then the last outbuilding is actually in the basement of the home, and that is going to be the winter kitchen. The winter kitchen is where the people who were enslaved would cook during the winter so the heat would rise and warm the house. While you're down there, you'll be able to find uh, artifacts that we have on display. Some of those artifacts we actually found in the home whenever we were doing our renovations on them. Uh, we have a little three and a half minute video that you can watch that discusses freedom. And if you look up at the ceiling, you'll be able to see the original log beams that the house is built on. Um, they still have the bark on them, so it's really interesting. I recommend going down there. Um, but some safety precautions, these are very important. We already talked about one, don't touch the original paint. Um, the second one is there are some steps in the house. Um, none of them are the same height, they're not all facing the same direction, but they are all in doorways. So every time you go through a doorway, check and see if there's a step, because about half the time there will be. I don't want anybody to fall and get hurt, I'll feel really bad, I'm a crier, so please don't do that to me. Um, but just watch your step. Uh, and the last main safety precaution is there are uh, there is a staircase in the home, uh, we cannot go up that staircase unfortunately. It's original, it's over 200 years old and it's just not very stable. So I can't let you guys see the second floor of the house. If you wanna know what's up there, just come ask me and I'll tell you all about it, but unfortunately you won't be able to see it today. Um, but during the course of the tour, I'm actually gonna hang out on the back porch as a resource if y'all have any questions. I don't want anybody to feel rushed going through the house, so take as much time as you like. We're here until five o'clock. Once everybody has made their way out of the house um, and went to start checking out the outbuildings, I'm gonna head back into the house and actually start closing the windows and getting the house closed up. But I will leave the doors unlocked, so I'm still here if anybody needs anything or has any questions, you can just come in the house and yell for me. Um, but once everybody's kind of done and I make sure everybody doesn't have any questions, you guys are all on your own free will on when you want to leave. So if you get too hot and say, I'm done with this, I don't want to wait for her, you don't have to wait for me. Um, you know, take your time or don't, it's up to you. Um, but I'll be here for the remainder of everybody else being here. I'll be somewhere, whether it be the back porch or inside the house. Do we have any questions before we go in? Sorry? Did you get to see the winter kitchen? Uh, no. So the winter kitchen is where that green board is right there. There's a set of stairs coming uh, down there. That's in the basement. That's what I was looking for. Thank I you. Like I thought you were the only person I had told me, so I wanted to make sure you guys see it. Thank you.
Just outside of St. Louis. Not too bad. Free. I thought it would cost a couple bucks, but no, everything's actually 100% free. The museum is small. The tour is short, but it's interesting. On screen now, you should see two QR codes. This one's for our website, americantravel.fun, where you can find travel news, articles, travel resources, downloads, and so much more. And this other QR code is for our Redbubble shop, American Travel. Here you can find original designs and twists on old classics, designs including memes, travel, nature, space, retro, abstract, vintage, and much more. From shirts to hoodies to hats, phone cases, travel and coffee mugs, blankets, pillows, the list just goes on. So come on down and check it out. We have something to match your personality. All links are in the description below and on our website, americantravel.fun. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.